Hi, my name's Colin. Welcome to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, let's get started. Welcome to Paint Watercolours again with me, Colin. Uh, this is going to be a, an evening scene, and it's the kind of thing that uh, you could possibly do with a friend, actually, if you want to hook your uh, laptop up to the TV. This is just some Windsor Yellow. I'm just going to put it in the middle there a bit, along with some... Indian yellow around the sides, Just pull it in. The board sets at an angle. I've mixed the colours relatively strong so you can see them. And into the bottom of that, this is some Elysian Crimson. Just let it all merge together. Put a band in the top there. I just want to drop some uh, cadmium orange. You can go over the trees, it doesn't matter. I'll just pull a little bit out of that in a minute. Just a touch of weak raw sienna. The top of that, this is a mixture of French ultramarine and burnt sienna. At the top of the sky. Just want to let all that merge together. And then the bottom part of the lander here, we're going to put some Naples yellow in the fields. Sorry, some raw sienna, not yellow ochre. A drop of Windsor yellow in. Here, so I'm going to remove some colour just where the main trunks are. Do you spread too far? just off center I'll just create a light spot this is uh, the same mixture of the sky color ultramarine blue and burnt sienna I'm just gonna put the path in and allow that to, to merge bring it together some light spots into it here and then we're going to leave that to dry a second or two and then we'll put some clouds in wet in wet when the paper's just gone damp okay now a little bit of the shine that's gone off the top of the paper this is a stronger mixture of the sky color which is the French ultramarine and burnt sienna and we're just going to darken up the top pull a few clouds across to strengthen it up put a few streaks in lower down some little cloud shapes and if you're careful with your brushwork when you come into the yellow because the sky colour contains the blue gentle touch 
just trickle it in so you don't create a green strengthen one or two up this is a mixture of burnt sienna with a slight touch of ultramarine then with a darker tone burnt sienna and Prince ultramarine just introduce that as well just a little bit in the part after it's starting to dry and then we can leave that to dry this is some straightforward raw sienna just where the bushes are just take that up into the trunks and then we're going to leave that to dry now that it's dry we can just put a, a layer of burnt sienna and French ultramarine onto these uh, oak trees and I'm just going to wiggle the brush to give it that rough bark texture take it all the way up I'll do one and uh, it's the same procedure for them all because it's three oak trees and then into that we are just going to drop some burnt umber and French ultramarine and we're just going to allow that to come drift around This is Windsor Yellow, and I just want to drop that in. Drop the tree trunks, just in places. Okay, once you've got all three trees looking like that, we're just going to soften some of this into the hedge roll. This is just a damp brush, just gently merging it all together. This is a number two rigger. You can put one or two branches in. I'll just do a couple and uh, you'll be able to see the end result in a couple of minutes. You can always turn the board round um, if you're not comfortable uh, working from this kind of angle to whatever suits you. Just make sure that your sky is dry. So, you get the general idea, as this is a, a little bit repetitive, I'll uh, turn the camera off and join you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you've got your trees looking something like that, and the yellows mingled in with the tree trunks to give you that nice greeny shine. This is just a, a round and mop brush. You can buy specialised brushes for this, but you really don't need to. And we're just going to splay the end open. Check it first, and very gently with the mixture of the burnt umber and the French ultramarine. We're just going to put this hedge row in, dry between layers. Think about the shape of your trees and bushes. Move on. Don't keep passing the same place over and over again. And it'll all just become one merged colour. You take the same colour and come round the branches of the trees and just put in some leaves. And as you can probably already tell, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, this is going to be an autumn painting. Don't worry about painting. You should have some fun doing this. You should enjoy it. Paint it with a friend. Now that that's dry with a darker mix of the French Ultramarine and the Burnt Umber, we can begin putting the underside of the shadows. 
the bushes, build it up slowly. Feel extra dark, just on the bottom. Put the underside of the shadow where the bushes meets the ground, and you get an exceedingly dark shadow into the trees where the foliage is. Same for the bushes on this side. The strong dark again. Introduce it into the bottom. And with a damp brush, pull the shadow into the field. This helps attach it to the floor, to the ground, softening off the edges as we go. This is sepia and French ultramarine, just indicate a fence. to dry for a minute. Okay welcome back we'll just come down to the field here and I've just dampened the mop brush but I'm just splaying the end out can you see that and I'm just going to put that into some relatively strong sienna raw sienna moving over to the left hand tree now that that's dry, <clears throat> I've just dampened the brush again and I'm just pulling it out, splaying it flat. Hope you can see that. You can buy special brushes for this, uh, but you really no need to. And they can cost a fair bit to purchase. But if you just take your time, get to know what your brushes will do, and you won't have to purchase them. And you can keep your money in your pocket. This is um, burnt sienna with a touch of burnt umber in. Just putting it in some places. Just to break it up. This is a lovely vibrant browny ginger red. <clears throat> Just slowly build this field up and then we'll add the darks and some twigs. This is a really fast easy painting anybody can do this a learner it's even nice uh, for somebody who can paint and then we're just going to leave that bit to dry now that little bit's dry <clears throat> we're just moving to a stronger tone of the burnt sienna of french ultramarine and we can add some darks leaving some of the raw sienna to show through. Start to bring it into the path. This is the uh, dark mix of the path colour, which is uh, French ultramarine. and crimson. I'm just going to very gently pull it in. As it goes to the back, soften the colour out, soften the edges into the grass. Same on this side. Soften everything as you go. to do is to add a few <coughs> sticks and twigs from the hedge rows a 
you can spend you can spend a lot of time uh, putting the extra detailing. But I'm just hopefully giving you just some ideas. That's all that's left for you to do is to sign it. Okay, here's the finished painting. Um, it's all dry near enough. I've just put a few more extra grasses in, three birds in the sky there. Signed it. Uh, all you've got to do is put a mount around it and frame it. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button and subscribe. You're more than welcome to join me. And I think we'll call this one Autumn Sunset. Thank you.